with this Mercury retrograde, for whatever reason, I wasn't expecting it to be a thing. Let me tell you, it was a thing. So the last four days, I really was not having a good time. It kind of turned around yesterday on day three. Hopefully now the rest of it's smooth sailing. But if you're really suffering right now, I wanted to do this extra little video for you guys, um, just in case. So if you are currently feeling um, like you're sh changing the way that you think about things, okay, good, because that's the whole fucking point, right? Um, but you're changing the way that you think about things as in, I can do everything on my own. I don't need help from anyone. I am completely capable. You know, that's in some circumstances a good thing, but in other circumstances, maybe not so much. So let's see what they have to say about that. They say, today, no person, place, or thing can irritate me or annoy me. I choose to be at peace. Now I want you to notice that this is an orange color here relating to your fears. The fear is if I allow other people to help me, they're going to do it wrong. They're going to annoy me. Um, it's not actually going to make things better. I'm going to spend more time trying to show them how to do things the way that I want them to be. Maybe it's time to relinquish a little control, okay? Um, allowing other people to help you this week if that's where you're at. What they're saying is you're not focused enough. You need to focus your mind. You can say thank you angels for helping me to focus on my priorities and anything that isn't in the top five things that you must handle personally, that everything else that you've been handling on the daily basis, even if it's not done 100% correctly, it's time to pass that off to somebody else. A good example might be, I fold the laundry a certain way so that I can find things, right? Maybe it's time just to allow my kids to try their best and if they don't try their best and they just throw their shit everywhere and they have wrinkled clothes, fuck it. Because one less thing for me to do, okay? Now, if you are feeling in this Mercury retrograde, um, <laughs> they're like, hey, we still wanna talk about you guys who are feeling like you have to do everything on your own and that you're capable of doing that. They say love and accept yourself and if you are allowing other people to help you, it's not because you're a failure, okay? You're not a failure by asking other people to help you. Um, you know, help, ask your angels for help to get to the point where you can truly love yourself and accept yourself as you are. Okay, now if during this Mercury retrograde you are feeling like you have some shit that you need to say to others, you're like, hey, you just came to me with this opinion, with this thing you have to say, I see through your bullshit and I'm gonna tell you how I feel. Now if that's you, what's the guidance here? Whoa. From time to time I ask those I love, how can I love you more? <laughs> okay, so if that's the kind of message you have to, to share, absolutely be cutthroat about it. Because they say enduring loving relationships brighten your life. But if it's the opposite, they say that as I forgive myself, it becomes easy to forgive others, okay? So ask yourself what your part in any of this conflict that you might be having is. Number one, forgive yourself for that. And then you can maybe handle that situation a little bit differently. They say, I realize when I make a mistake that it's only part of the learning process. Maybe other people don't need to be told that they fucked up and they already know. Maybe they don't know it yet, but they'll learn that down the road. Maybe it's not our job to let them know what's going on here. Maybe that's part of their process and that's their path and not really our own bi our business. Maybe we need to stay in our own lane a little bit, right? So. They say further, you can ask your loved ones that have passed for help with this and maybe think about situations that you're aware of that they might have gone through. You know, for example, um, maybe there's something that your parents did that seemed like a giant mistake and like you would never make that mistake now in this day and age and time, but they were doing the best that they could with the information and the knowledge that they had and the skills that they had back then. And so we have to forgive ourselves for similar things, for regrets that we're holding on to, but also forgiving others for that. Now, does it make what they did okay? Maybe not, but is it our place to run around screaming at them, telling them how bad they fucked up? I don't think it helps the situation. Okay, so if 
during the Mercury retrograde, you are feeling like you're not moving forward, like you're stagnant, like you are not moving in the direction of your dreams, like what is the fucking point of any of it? Things aren't changing, they're not getting better. Well, you need to tell yourself, I'm willing to learn, the more I learn, the more I grow. No matter how old I am, I can always learn more and I can do it with confidence. Now the trick to this energy is not only learning what's not working for us and why we're feeling that way, but to not only acquiring the information that we need to learn from and grow to go in the direction that we want to go, but to apply it. You can have all of the information in the world, but if you're not applying it, what's the point in having it? Does that make sense? So. Last little thing here with that, they say you also can ask your spirit guides, your ancestors, um, you know, you can channel those who have passed, look back to their example for guidance, but then they say, you know, ask your angels to help you make healthy decisions. So are the decisions that you're making not really healthy? I know me personally, that resonates with me a little bit more over the last couple of days. It's like my schedule has been really wonky and challenging to deal with between you know two kids at two different schools, two different jobs, I'm doing tarot, I'm doing something else, and it's just like a lot of work. And if I'm not careful and really, really cautious with um, being a good steward of my sleep, sometimes I get like rabbit holed and I just go balls to the wall on making cute little memes for you guys or something like that until four or five in the morning, and before you know it, I get two or three hours of sleep. And that's not sustainable on a day-to-day -day level, and then before you know it, I completely crash, and I'm totally worthless, and I sleep for like 16 hours at a time, can hardly stay awake, or I get crabby, and I start raging out at everybody around me, even if they're not around me. I am known to send some nasty-ass text messages out of nowhere because I'm not getting enough sleep. So focusing on your health first and foremost, even though it feels like you can't do that, is kind of the trick, the little um, life hack for the Mercury retrograde. I love you so much.